Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Activision Blizzard Collegiate Overwatch Swiss Round 5. We're about to start very soon. Yep. Both teams here are 4 and 0. So, you know, they're coming in. They're hungry for more. Neither one of them wants to be the first to get that record broken. Yeah, very high tension game here today. Grandview University versus St. Clair College. Time is ticking. We're going to be here into the game very, very soon. I love this new TV we got added here. Oh, yeah, it's but, great. But uh, here we are in-game on Antarctica. Yeah, and right away we see that we do have Squeak on that Reinhardt, like we talked about, as well as Noxious on the Bastion. This is a comp that we've seen them run before. But Grandview, they're going to be going for a whole different approach using the Junker Queen and the Genji with the Sojourn there to try and enable one-shots at a distance. So we'll see how these comps match up with each other. Both the line there from the high ground. Jump up here. I think of the teleport. Here we go. Black side. Oh, Red X finds the first pick. Goes in deep. Now he's squeak coming in. Finds Sojourn as well. The immortality field on point. Just gonna make sure that St. Clair is in no danger at all. Red X finds another pick onto the Junker Queen. You can see he's just going around enabling this Reinhardt to charge around the map. And Ooh. Canary gets taken out as well. Tried to escape there, but not quite fast enough. A nice start there from St. Clair. They did a great job controlling that high ground and just waiting for the end. Oh! Ooh. Noxious with one HP managed to take out <laughs> Zoe. That must have been a nail biter for him. Yeah, he gets out. So that is a great pick by Noxious there. St. Clair, great sight control already, but Grandview regrouping here with Lucio going in very quickly there to assist his team. Looks like St. Clair is just playing the high ground here. Yeah, absolutely. A TP is going to enable Squeak to get right up on top of them as well as Noxious. He's there. Emran is able to find the first pick. Squeak goes in for a charge, finds Zoe as well. Noxious still sitting there. Use the nade just to try and clear that high ground, but the damage is already done. Grandview, you can see they're just trying to peek, see if they can maybe do some damage, but... Oh, actually, oh, Echo finds a pick onto Emran. A nice kunai there is going to get him an exit frag, but it's not going to be enough. Sinclair, they still hold strong. They are holding strong, but Grandview... Maybe finding a good flank here, but I think they see it coming a mile away. But there's Zoe going in. Long flank. Bring in the whole map there. There's Razor keeping his team up and healthy. Both teams just finding, trying to find a crack in the armor here. Same place. Better than defense. A nice TP came out there to force what off the high ground onto the point, and then Noxious was able to quickly clean him up. And now the window from Razor is going to enable so much damage. Noxious finds even more picks. And St. Clair, that was just a beautiful rotation. You saw Grandview, they tried to go for a bit of a pincer there. But using the Symmetra Teleporter, they just chose a side to engage on, forced that side out of position, and then immediately punished that mispositioning. Now, Grandview, they're in a bit of a tough spot. They only have. They'll have two ults here. They have the Genji Blade and they have the Kiriko ult. But St. Clair, they have three ults online and they're going to be popping it early here. And with 95 nearly on the board here, <laughs> there's the Bastion ult, all the big Suzu. Yeah, it forces the Suzu out early and we are probably going to see the Kiriko ult come in here. The Kitsune Rush is probably going on to the point. There's the wall. But yeah, the Sim wall is going to be exactly what St. Clair needs in order to charge forward. Squeak goes in, finds first pick onto Canary, uses that hammer. The sound barrier from Red X is going to make sure that St. Clair just has all the aggression in the world. See, Grandview has once again been split. St. Clair takes full advantage of that. Runs onto one side, takes down Zoe. Now, Finger Paint is still on point, trying to stay alive. Didn't get any value from the Junker Queen ult. Squeak finds another oh. pick, and yeah, it's just going to be too much damage. Picks start coming out. And Grandview, they can't even stay on point. They got forced right off. St. Clair with a very strong start. Yeah, what an overwhelming start off to the series here. One to zero. There they are, dialed in, focused, thinking about it. Very happy with that picture. I see them holding the smiles there. Yeah. They know that they are rolling here. Yeah. And the thing is, this is a really tough matchup for GBU. With the comp they're running, it's... Like, despite the fact that you have the Junker Queen, a lot of it relies on poke damage, right? Like, you want the Genji to be able to spam his shurikens to build up his ult. The, the Sojourn, of course, you want to be able to get that charge and find the headshots. But they're all... They always have Squeak Shield up to be able to protect them when they're peeking. And then, when they need to engage, they can just use the Teleporter to engage even faster than a Lucio or a Junker Queen can, right? So St. Clair, they just wow, they understand their comp win conditions super well and they make the most of it. But Grandview is going to be trying to go for a bit closer to a mirror here. They are trying to match their comp there. The only thing they don't have here is a Symmetra to get onto that site <laughs> just as quick. Like, look how fast they are. They already have site control. Maywall coming out already. 
would have liked to find an isolation there, but unfortunately he couldn't quite get it. Oh, but Emran, he got a little bit too aggressive, and GBU had a great punish there. Emran going down, that's going to take away a lot of Saints' mobility, but they do have the advantageous defense position right now. Isolation comes out onto Squeak. Finger Paint not quite going to find that charge, but Nox with a nice trade there. Turns us back into a 4v4. Red X, see him on the point. Oh, see cap. And yeah, St. Clair, they managed to find the first cap. Nox just with the Bastion diff finds that pick. Finger Paint went in deep, is able to take out Razor. Grand View is still in this, but they need to start finding a lot more picks, and unfortunately not going to be able to. Squeak takes out Canary. Oh, and he almost gets oh, it by the wall. Oh, he gets a double out. kill. Yeah, Squeak with a 3k there. That's a... That's huge for two reasons. One, the fact that you were able to get those kills in the first place, but also those happened so late in the fight <laughs> that in Grandview, they're going to have to give up like a whole extra 20% here before taking this next fight. True. That, I love the curve around that wall there, just ice skating yeah. through there just to take Squeak out. Squeak the NASCAR driver. Yeah. Expect nothing less from our American player. <laughs> Getting the big bonk there. Finger pain trying to get in here, but there's so much damage preventing him just from closing the distance here. Zoe creeping up behind, getting the shots off. They need to find some way by these walls. Trying to get that May ult off. I think he found a pick there, or that was a turret. Yeah, he, was a, he was able to take out the teleporter, so that's going to take away a bit of mobility there, of course. There's Street. the Bastion ult. Oh, yeah, just out. Has the Bastion ult. Forces out the immortality field. Oh, goes low. It does oh, get taken out. Emmerich no. with a really nice follow up there. The window was used, but unfortunately, St. Clair, they used their window as well. And they're just wow. like, hey, anything you can do, we can do better. <laughs> they just find all the picks, and again, Using There's only a go. couple ults there, they did a great job. The, the silver lining there for Grandview is they did manage to force the sound barrier, whereas Canary still has his. So, going into this next fight, they will have better sustain. Yep, they do have one chance here to use the sound barrier to try and try and break through this overwhelming defense from St. Clair. Just everything they have, they have an answer for, but with the Earth Shatter. And Squeak and Finger Paint both get yeah. shattered here. This is going to be... Oh, he finds shatter. a shatter, gets squeaked down low, and he gets taken out. A oh, huge shatter no, from Finger so Paint. That's going to open it up. And Canary still has that sound barrier if they need it. See, Granby getting low, but Finger oh, Paint with a no. nice fire strike takes out Noxious, but what goes down as well? Looks like they're still holding on to that sound barrier. They think they can win this without it, and looks like they will be able to. The wall comes out just to buy him a little bit more time. Red X, you can see him skating around the point. Not going to be enough. St. Clair, they're just going to opt to back out, try and take next fight. Grandview using only the shatter there to win that fight. Yeah, that's amazing. Now they got a couple alts in the pocket here to cook, to delay the offense here. You can see what they can do. Maybe they can bring this back here. Yeah. This fight is going to be going to be looking at Squeak to see if he can find value from his shatter the same way that Finger Paint did. The early Bastion now from what is going to... Ooh, it looks like a force knocks just out of position there and took down Emran. Squeak goes for the shatter, but he's already lost both his DPS. There is no follow-up for that at all. Now Grandview, they have all their members up. They find Squeak <laughs> isolated there in the corner. Goes for the counter pin. Oh, but actually, Razor managed to get the flip, Ooh. unfortunately. All it's going to do is get some delay here on it's the It's a good delay, good yeah, delay. Yeah, keeps Grandview from ticking up, but at the end of the day, they did still win that fight. And again, with very efficient ult economy, you can see Canary still hasn't even needed to use that beat. Yeah, they still have a couple ults in the pocket here. Razor here, the wall. I think they're just waiting for a point where they have the advantage to use all these ultimates here that they have in the pockets. The Maywall comes out, does split off the team a bit, forces them to drop onto point, and now Sweet is just going to get back onto the point there with his team. Both teams now meeting in the middle. The mail oh, comes mail. in from Zoe, goes low, forces the ice block, but unfortunately doesn't quite catch anyone. Not oh, though, wow. uses that bash to punish Zoe as he comes out of the block. A huge shatter from Finger Paint is going to put two on the ground, but that window coming out from Razor is going to keep everyone topped up. The point flip does wow. come through. Oh, and Razor finds Finger Paint. That window so perfectly placed as soon as he peeked, he got destroyed. Now, what did take out Squeak? So both tanks are down here now. It's going to turn all point. down to the neutral fight. Razor finds another pick, finds another. That's wow. three for Razor, still a DPS player at heart, but what? <laughs> He's trying to equalize it, find the pick on Emran. Razor has now found four, <laughs> and Noxious is there to make it a... Uh, find the pick onto Zoe, who swapped to that Tracer. Finger paint swapped the ball, to the ball yeah. to touch, but just got forced off. Razor with a carry performance there at the end. What a what a great sh uh, shot there from the back Oh, It's a win for St. Clair here today. I wonder what the play was. Oh, yep, the Bastion for sure. He played amazingly, had great DPS potential here. And especially with the combo with that wall, what can you do against that, yeah, honestly? Yeah, the <laughs> Matrix is just so strong. You can see that Nate just one tap to the Lucio. Yep. Nothing he could do there. <laughs>
a great performance to start off from St. Clair. Uh, you know, like we talked about, that Brawl comp, they, it's definitely something that they seem very, very comfortable on, and Noxious has been showing great performance on the Bastion. And they're also using the Symmetra to a great effect, like really making the most out of these TPs to make sure they can move around the map, and just really, it keeps them from getting caught out the same way that we see Grandview get caught out sometimes. Yeah, they use the teleport just immediately at the beginning. They just have an immediate advantage, you know, just being able to get to the point first, fastest, and, you know, steak. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just had a voice in my ear. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to count out Grandview, though, because we saw them on that second map. They're starting to pick up steam. You know, they flipped it once, and if they can keep that up, I think they might be able to take a game here today. Yep, swapping up their cops there definitely helped them, and that adaptability that they showed is definitely something that you want to see if you want to be a top contender, right? Like, a, a very common mistake is we see teams, they have their comp, they lock themselves into it, and they're just like, one of these times it'll work, yeah. <laughs> right? A lot of times it doesn't end up working. So being able to identify that, hey, this is disadvantageous for us. Let's just go back to the drawing board, try something else. So in their case, they opted to try and match St. Clair using the May instead of the Symmetra, going for kind of isolation over mobility. And it did get it did net them some success. Wasn't quite able to pick out the win, but you know, if they had been running that the whole time, we might have seen it maybe work out, right? Yeah, that's something I really like about uh, Overwatch over like League of Legends is something I've noticed is League of Legends, you pick your characters, you're stuck there. You have to go with the set comp. So those like character differences really, really matter. And if there's a bad matchup right away, kind of locks you into certain metas and like you have to kind of pick the same characters that you're comfortable with but with overwatch the di the team dynamics are a lot more fluid and there's a lot more back and forth with switching and it's, it's really interesting you know it's a totally different game but i find it very comparable because it's like a pseudo moba fps kind of thing absolutely but, yeah. but it's great but uh we're gonna get back to your very very soon we're gonna have a sub for red x here from soaks and we'll be right back after this quick break. Hello, everybody. Very quick break. We're yeah. right here back. Here are the players. They're soaks. I have class with that guy. <laughs> he's a very nice guy. We, we talked. He's, very, he's funny. Yeah. But uh, anyways, we're back here in-game. Activision, Blizzard, Collegiate, Overwatch. Second round between St. Clair College and Grandview University. Here we are. New map. What do you think? Think it's gonna be different? Well, Nimbani is definitely gonna be it, you, like just right away. You know that this is something that Graham you pick because it is very much anti brawl, right? Yeah. You, it's, it has a lot of high grounds, a lot of long open sight lines, a lot of like there's a there's a saying that dive is solar powered, right? It doesn't work indoors. You need to be out in the open. You need to be able to like see the sun. That's why I call it solar powered. Um, and Nubani is a map that plays into that super super well. You have all this space that you can all position from, you can stage from, and then you can engage from. Yeah, of course, all the sunlight. <laughs> Very sunny um, map. So it's going to definitely uh, play into their favor, but it looks like they are actually going to be running the Sigma here to start. So they're going to be trying to control this high ground and use more of the, the sight lines to get long range damage. Like with the Hanzo, they're going to be looking for one shots, the Echo just layering in those sticky bombs, and of course the Sigma there to just enable all those angles. Squeak is going to be on the Diva, which is going to be that dive playstyle where he can just quickly rotate between high grounds, between low ground and high ground, and just contest any angle that he needs to and push block off that damage. Getting a big stun there off the thing, but gets anti-healed. They don't take him out here. Kurt. They're good immortality field. Oh, but Zoe and what? They immediately find both their DPS counterparts. Noxious and Emmer have both gone down here. Canary goes in and finds Razor as well. Squeak did trade out for Echo, but Grandview, they're up by two players right now. And they have already started putting their feet on the point. Wow. Three people, Cap's going up. Two ticks already gone. <laughs> Is St. Clair going to be able to touch this? They're going to contest it with the D.Va there, but I don't know if they're going to redo it. Soaks yeah. is going to hop on point, but he's getting overwhelmed here. Yeah, Soaks gets chased down by the Echo, Zoe is able to find him. Sweet tries to mark him a little bit, but he has to go back to point to make sure it stays contested. Now we see the Sigma, the Rock comes in, and oh, yep. Sweet gets hit by that and gets d -mexed. Zoe's wow. doing a great job on the cycle here right now. You, you saw him open up that fight with the initial pick, and then 
with the focusing beam, just been put down so much pressure. You can see the ult charge 70 to 40 on Emran's side, and finger paint finds Squeak, who is still out of mech, unfortunately. That's going to be a lot of momentum here for the side of GVU. And finger paint already pushing back their defense here, making sure that he can get up to this choke point here, but he gets anti healed, has to back off. Yeah, Razor has been doing a great job with these anti nades, but unfortunately, Group GPU, they just find these picks. The DPS yeah. and the Sigma are working together so well to combine their damage. Picks come out faster than Sinclair can react. Ooh. You can see how low Squeak gets taken. The nano. Yeah, the nano coming out from Razor is going to enable Squeak to go in. Looks for those picks, but isn't quite able to find anything yet. And what? Oh, a nice headshot uh -huh. is going to take out Razor. GPU and once again dragon. has the advantage. The nano boost wore off Squeak. He wasn't able to find any picks. And now the Echo takes him to half. The focusing beam coming out, but nice shield dancing oh, is going to keep him so alive. Low. Yeah. Back now, off though. Noxious on that Hanzo is gonna take out Canary. But what? Finds a pick of oh, his own. Oh. And Zoe again. What and Zoe are just doing such a great job of finding picks and staying alive right now. Then with at the cart is staying moving. Yeah, this is a, a very one-sided match here to start off. It's like the first game from St. Clair, but reverse for Grand View here. They are doing an amazing job at just pushing St. Clair off this point. And not letting them get any picks, and Zoe just going in the back line, taking out all the squishies, making sure they have no DPS, no heals, leaving that tank all on his own. So we see the ult come out from, uh, from Squeak there, but I don't know if he's going to be able to do much with this. Yeah, unfortunately, Emmerich got taken out, and without a Tracer, it's very hard to find those picks as Winston. Now the Dragons do come in, but unfortunately, Finger Paint was high in the air using that Sigma ult, so it did pop the break rally, but he gets taken out. Zoe again! Finding that pick, Zoe's just been having a superstar performance here. Emran is going to try and go first. Oh, does find a pick. We'll see if it's enough for St. Clair to be able to do something. But no, nah, Echo's right there to make sure that that is a cap secured. Since St. Clair, they're going to try and swap it up completely. They're going to swap folks over to the Lucio as we go back to the Reinhardt. It looks like they're going to go back to what worked for them on map one. Yeah, definitely. They are trying to get that map one energy back in here. But with how Grandview University is playing, I don't think it's going to be able to change here so quickly. Especially Zoe just has that ult in the pocket ready to use at any point. Could be yeah. A massive turn for the game. And yeah, Zoe does have that ult. What will have his dragons online as well? The dragons the dragons. come out. They split the team nicely. We'll see if there's any follow up for that. Squeak gets a shield taken low, but he's still staying strong. He has that bad piece there to lock it wow. out. Oh, goes very low. Oh, and no immortality field. He does get taken now. Wow. Just yeah, and with that, Tor is going to force St. Clair to back around. They can't hold this corner anymore. And unfortunately, Finger Pain, he's going to take full advantage of that. He's pushing straight up onto that final checkpoint. Now you can see Noxious is actually still trapped here behind. And what and Zoe combined to take out Razor and Emrin. Noxious still sitting alive in the back point. We'll see if he can find a pick at this point. This is a do or die moment for St. Clair. Now the copy comes out from Zoe. Copies out. Hanzo is taken very low. We'll see if he can find a pick. Squeak does go down to Echo. He's so solid on that bat. Now the window. Oh. Comes out from Echo, finds wow. a couple more picks. What finds Emran as well? Now Zoe just finds another pick. There it is. St. Clair, they are not even able to touch. GBU, <laughs> you can absolutely tell that they had a game plan for this map and they executed it perfectly. I I would have to go back and watch the VOD, but I think What and Zoe may not have died a single time. Yeah, it feels like it without. Even if they did die, they were right back there on the front line picking it off. You know, just. What are you supposed to do against that when they're just going right behind you, taking out your support, taking out your DPS? There's not much you can do. Just playing amazingly, playing very slippery with that echo, being able to fly up in the air all around, dive yeah. in, dive out. It's a great team comp. Well played. Now, St. Clair College. Now they need to do that exactly right back here <laughs> today. Take yeah, that we'll, energy. We'll definitely have to see what St. Clair wants to try and do because they, they were swapping stuff up. Like we saw a squeak, he started on that D.Va. Unfortunately, D.Va and Sigma is a bit of a rough matchup because the Sigma rock is one of the few things that D.Va can't eat with the defense <laughs> matrix, right? So if, you, if you're if you face to face with the Sigma, you just have to come to terms with the fact you're gonna get knocked down. Uh, and when you get knocked down against an Echo, that's immediately a green light for the Echo to throw down those sticky bombs. And then from there, D.Va straight to half HP, focusing beam comes in, you get shredded. So Squeak recognized that, swapped over to the Winston. Had a bit of success, but unfortunately, the DPS of GBU, they were just able to find the picks like, yeah. <laughs> onto all the damage he needed to combine because Winston by himself doesn't do that much damage. You need the tracer, you need the follow-up, and 
Zoe and what were doing such a great job of marking those follow-up angles that it was really hard for Squeak to get valued. Yeah, there's Zoe back on the Echo here today. We're seeing a Winston from Grandview. I think it's the first time we've seen the go Winston here today. So yeah, be both to see. teams opting into the Winston matchup. Both have an Ana, but the difference is we have Soaks on the Mercy to enable Emrin, whereas uh, Grandview is using Canary for the Kiriko. So Zoe doesn't have that Mercy pocket the same way Emrin does. Hello. Definitely. That should be an interesting match here. Oh, and there wow. it is. That's the Mercy Pocket dip. Emran immediately takes out Zoe. Canary is able to trade with Pick onto Soaks, and Figure Paint finds Emran, but Nox just finds two. Squeak makes a third with Pick onto what? And now, St. Clair, they do have the advantage here, pushing onto point. You can see Finger Paint is trying to stay alive, but with only a single healer, it's not going to be very effective. And Canary taken out as well. Squeak finds three there in that wow. first engage. Great job from him. And that's exactly what we wanted to see, right? We want to see these DPS come in, find picks, and be able to just, you know, combine your damage to make sure these picks are coming through. And that was a much cleaner take than uh, than Grandview even had here today. It was. The first half of this map. Let's see if they can carry the payload just as cleanly to the end of the point. Maybe yeah. bring this to an overtime. Yeah, now Soaks is going to be swap. We see swap coming up from both sides here. Emran is going to be on that uh, Sojourn now. And what has actually swapped over to the Ash? Ooh, a nice Ooh, anti is going to force Finger Paint back. We seeing if he can chase that down. No, he's just going to be contesting that high ground, holding on top of us, just making sure that what can't free fire. So we're trying to find a way in here to take out some of the supports or UPS. Oh, a nice wow. headshot from what takes out Noxious. Headshot, finger paint, just ignoring uh, Squeak here. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> can see Noxious too in late. chat there, a bit incredulous about the fact that he even got picked off. Uh, but, you know, St. Clair, they're not too afraid. They're still moving the payload over to the corner of this bus. Dynamite is going to come in. Zoe gets taken low, does have to fly out. What is getting close to his ultimate now, but Razor has the nano wheels. We'll see if he uses this on Squeak to enable an engage. We shall see indeed Squeak Noxious thinking very carefully about when to use this ultimate. Getting a good flank on the back line here. Yeah, there it is. The Nano comes there, in. There it comes out. The one. Yeah, Noxious is there to follow up with that Pulse Bomb. The Ana goes down for the side of GBU. And now Finger Paint gets isolated, gets taken out wow. by Noxious. Noxious doing a great job of working together with Squeak there. With only two ults used, St. Clair are able to crack open at this point. But GBU is not to be outdone. They're throwing in the bob. They want to commit to this. Zoe also uses the copy, gets the Tracer copy. We'll see if he can find Pulse Bomb maybe, get a pick quick. But an anti comes out. It is going to force him out. Looks like he's not getting too much value. St. Clair doing a great job of disengaging there. Oh, at the very oh. last moment, find the pulse onto Soaks. That's so tragic for St. Clair. Zoe is going to be really happy with that. JBU, they still have the Primal, they still have the Rally, and the Nano. They can solve all they want here. St. Clair, they're going to have to try and get out here. They need to try and get find some way out here. That was a big ult from both from uh, Grandview here today. Yeah. So he Result. takes out Razor, unfortunately, right as Emran pops that overclock. If he can find some picks, this might make it worth it, but wow. Grandview, they just do such a great job of kiting back, playing these corners. They make sure they don't get taken out. And what with the pick on the Nox to finish that up? Wow. That was a very scrappy fight, very back and forth, but at the end of the day, JB, you do manage to stop this payload from moving for the time being. We do have two Brigitte ults on both sides here, so it should be interesting to see one used here first. They're so close to the checkpoint, they just need to get past this last choke, and they might be in this game again. Once again, though, we do see Razor with that Nano, and Noxious is going to have that Pulse Bomb. That's the exact combo that worked for them last time, so we'll see okay. if they can keep it going for a second time. Nano. Nano comes in, he dives in, and nice pick from Squeak there. What goes down? Pulse Bomb comes in as well, is going to force Diana off high ground. You can see Finger Paint goes very low, does get taken out by Noxious. The Rally was popping Canary, the overhealth coming in, but it's not quite going to be enough as Squeak Ooh. goes in deep right onto that corner. Razor helps him take out Canary. He goes in even <laughs> farther. He does not want to let them out, and Noxious Noxious, Emran, everyone on St. Clair putting themselves up on the board. As what also gets taken out very late, a great stagger coming out there from Saints. Don't count out Soaks carrying the payload, you know, you gotta, you gotta shout out that guy. He's, he's integral here. Today. Yeah, that, the, I mean, you, you say that a bit of a joke, but the I don't is, say it as a joke. The, the brig is the anchor point, right? Like that, with the shield, with the spire, that is what you play around. That's where you want to always be able to cut back to to make sure that you have protection from these dives from any damage coming in, especially from the monkey. But Finger Paint is no longer on the monkey. He's has swapped over to the Junker Queen, and now the rally is coming out from Soaks to just try and run down this Junker Queen before she can get value. Trying to pick there. Oh wait, no, he doesn't. Never mind. Got him very low though. Oh, a big anti coming out from Razor is going to enable two picks to come out onto Echo and what? 
now. Squeak goes in. He still has that primal. Soaks cleans up with a pick on the finger paint. Zoe has used the ultimate, but at this point, it might be too late. As Saints, they have, they're finding all the picks. Emran finds two of his own. Uh, one was the Bob, so actually just the one. But, oh, what? Oh, has wow. a surprise swap onto the Widow. Takes out Noxious. See if it's going to be enough. But no. You can see that overclock coming in from Emran is going to make sure the cap comes through. But it was not That's quite as fast as GVU. Uh, ever so slightly slower. I think it was like seven seconds slower. Uh, let's see. 37 Oh, 37, seconds. yep. So, so two thirty. But yeah, yeah it's both teams be a... with very strong attack rounds. This is a map that could go down to the wire. Yeah, this could be a very close game. Seems very attack-sided, though. <laughs> like, it's very hard to hold those uh, choke points, it seems like. You can hold them for a little bit while, especially that first point. Seems like you have like one shot to defend it. Miss that shot, it's over. Got gets taken immediately. Yeah, absolutely. You can see you can see on that attack performance. Emran and Noxious, they, they they must have been feeling upset after they got outperformed on their defense. So they they just decided, yo, we're not losing this. They started doing everything they needed to, finding every pick at the perfect moments, doing a great job of enabling Squeak to just go in super deep and always be able to take his positioning. Now, GBU back on the defense like we just saw, but they're not going to be opting for the monkey this time. They're going to be going for the Sigma, which is, of course, what brought them to success in the first place. Exactly. Going back to where they're comfortable, you know. I think the Winston's good on offense, but on defense, I feel like Sigma has the better hold on the grasp here. So, uh, We'll definitely have to see. This time though, Canary will not be on the Kiriko, and instead uh, we don't have the Ana either from Echo. It's going to be the Baptiste and the Ilyari. So definitely they're going to want to be playing around this healing pylon and also making the most of the Immortality field when anchoring onto the Sigma. So we'll see how this plays out for them. Yeah, there's what? Having the high, high ground here. This is a shot, but all good here today. So getting up here on the high ground, letting them... Oh, a nice anti comes in. That's what the immortality field is for. Just keeps them up through that. And it looks like Nox just tried to go for an engage there onto the Ana, or onto the Bap, sorry, but was unfortunately forced out. And yeah, with that great opening pick up onto Squeak, that's going to enable Grandview to just keep pulling on here. The anti was good, but you know, that immortality field, you just get so much value from it. You can hold your position without having to worry. Yeah, the immortality field is so powerful here. Squeak finds the back line though. Oh, trying to rush it down, gets one. Beautiful gets combination out. from Squeak and Noxious there. They find Zoe and what? Both of them up on that high ground just got pincered in between the two, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Opening picks coming through. Canary is going to take out Noxious, but with only the Yari only the, the Yari heals left, we'll see if it's going to be enough. Yeah, Canary actually finds a second. He's picked off both DPS yeah. at this point. The, the res did come through from Soak, so it looks like Saint Clair is going to be staying in uh, a winning spot, and Grandview is forced out. So just a great combination there onto that high ground. You saw Noxious come from that back tunnel while Squeak wow. jumped in, and before Grandview could even know what was happening, they just got picked off. Yeah, great teamwork from Saint Clair there. Quickly overturned the point there. Canary able to get some really good picks, but not able to capitalize it on it. Unfortunately, yeah. just has a pulse bomb. Oh, they Maybe are they running out of back, time here. They've though. swapped back to the Junker Queen. They've actually decided to forego the Sigma. Who's so close? Oh, and Noxious with a huge opening pick. Zoe going down. Grandview, they don't have a res. They're not going to be able to get that back online. <laughs> yeah. They want to bring this cart to the to the checkpoint here as fast as I can because they're already in overtime yeah, here. Saint Clair is close to four ults on the board here. JBU little behind with those swaps from the Junker onto the Junker Queen and what not quite up to that Bob yet as well. We'll have to see if Canary can get some big value from this Captive Sun. Yeah, we got the Alari ult on board here. Needs to put it to good use. Ooh, Razor picks up Zoe wow. again. Oh, big sleep on the tank there from Razor. Yeah, what did take out Noxus there, but unfortunately, the kill feed is all green yeah. right now. St. Clair just finding everything they need to. And Noxus going down well, doesn't even matter because he got that Mercy Res to come through. St. Clair standing five strong on the payload as they come into the second checkpoint. They've clearly identified Zoe as a major threat and have been doing a great job marking them so far. That's good two job. fights in a row. With wow. Three, where Zoe gets picked <laughs> off first. He is not having a good time here on this defense. They clearly do not want him to see the same success he did on the very first round. The Saints get Getting their revenge here today against Zoe after what 
was all he would describe as like a massacre there, just taking them out over and over. Oh, but with one echo, wow. <laughs> one echo going down deserves another as Emran takes out what Noxious though is going to avenge his teammate as he takes out what. Zoe is going to be coming back here with that copy. We'll see if he opts to use it. Finger paint also very close to that ultimate. Jungle Queen all comes through. Oh, finds two. Razor and Squeak both being hit by that. Wow. And Echo and Zoe are right there to make sure that the follow up comes through. JBU, they were on their back foot for most of that map there. But right after this second checkpoint, they are able to put their foot down. St. Clair with five points on the board. We'll see if they can stop GBU on St. Clair's defense round. GBU nearly has a full minute on them. Like the better half of a minute on them. So I don't know, it could be anyone's game here today. St. Clair played very well that last point, but I don't know. We shall see here very soon. What do you think? Do you think they should try a different team comp? What are your thoughts? St. Clair looks like they settled into a bit of a comfortable comp here with a Razor there on that Ana and Soaks uh, with a great Mercy performance, just staying alive, making sure he's able to enable the damage for Emrin and Noxious. Uh, the res is coming in. It looks like they have kind of found themselves a bit of a comfortable foothold, but as I say that, Squeak's actually going to be starting off on the D.Va here. So it looks like I think St. Clair is predicting JBU to JBU, GBU to come yeah. out on the Winston. Uh, if they were coming out on the Winston, I think the Diva would be great here. You know, you have your micro missiles, you have your shotguns to do huge damage to the Winston at close range, right? And Winston, of course, has to play at close range, otherwise he's not doing anything. But the Sigma is what shut down the Diva the first time. And yeah. We'll have to see if Squeak is going to be ready for this, because if he's not expecting it, I think we're going to see re-performance. The Rock comes through, the Echo has follow-up. And, oh, actually, Zoe isn't going to be on the Echo. He's going to be on the Tracer this time. Oh, weird. Yeah, we saw a last-minute swap there at the end. What going to Hanzo, Zoe going to Tracer. Should be an interesting comp here. Yeah, here they are pushing on the point at the first choke. Yeah. What ops to go for that far high ground? See if they can be a pincer. Ooh, Emran gets taken low. Zoe's trying to hunt him down, but some nice headshots are going to force Zoe out. Not let him get that pick. He's still looking for it. He comes right back in, and Echo takes out Soaks. Ooh. Early pick coming out. Whoa. Oh, and Canary with the follow up onto Emran. Two going down for the side of the Saints. This is exactly what we were worried about. That Sigma comp is doing such a great job of enabling the angles. And unfortunately, St. Clair. They can't contest all these angles at once, so Grandview just manages to overwhelm them. With the Tracer coming from the back, the, uh, the Iliari shooting straight down the mid, and of course you have the uh, Baptiste and Sigma pushing onto the high ground. It's just, it's too much. There's too many directions that they have to be careful of, and they just get stuck in this blender of damage coming from yeah. all sides. And Zoe already on the back line here, just being an annoying little thorn on their side. Peppering them with damage there. <laughs> Just dodge an arrow oh, early. There's Squeak a pulse bomb. Nice pulse bomb. A little bit telegraphed there from Zoe. Might have underestimated Squeak a little bit there. So but keeping them busy. Yeah, and he, he is. Dude, he's just forcing them back, forcing them to use resources, which is, of course, valuable. But GBU is going to have ults coming online here very shortly. They're getting close to those dragons, getting close to that flux. Razor, though already has his nano boost. We'll see who he wants to use it on. You don't have the monkey who's your normal engage, so they're just gonna put it onto the Diva instead. Pushes forward, trying to take out that Sigma, pushes him back onto the car, see if he can find damage, but unfortunately GPU, they just kite back, they run away, and that nano boost is not gonna find much of anything. Yeah, Diva ult almost online here at 80%. Oh, finger paint with yeah. a nice rocking <laughs> follow-up onto Soak. Soak's got a little bit too aggressive there, trying to proc that Inspire, and GPU. They're going to use this momentum, goes for the Gravitic Flux, gets Noxious very low, and Zoe's right there to follow up. Now what? Using the Dragons just to clear that high ground, make sure that no one can contest it. Emran with a nice frag onto Zoe. Looks like he was just hiding there in the back. He does have the Overclock. St. Clair, they do still have a chance to contest this. If Squeak can make it onto the point, the engine comes through. Oh, but what with two picks onto Razor and Emran? That's going to be this point going. Squeak, he's going to get this into overtime with the looks of it. So, you know, that is... That is a, a benefit for St. Clair. This next fight is going to have to be the last, though. Yeah, this is the last one, the choke point. <laughs> so close, right there. I feel like I feel like Grandview has the advantage here. Like it's going to be very tough to get there in time to contest. Like, just like that. Yeah, you can see the rally comes in. Soaks gets on point. The capture wow. sun gets eaten by Squeak. That's going to be a huge boon for St. Clair. Emran finds wow. one with the overclock, and Squeak uses his deep mech to find a second. Emran finds a third. Echo is going to find picks of his own. 
but is it gonna be enough? Both Zoe and no. what still alive here on point, putting down so much damage. Squeak does get d mac and the Tracer finds the recall. The heals are coming through from Echo. Echo's doing a great job of keeping his team alive. Zoe finds the pick onto Squeak, and Razor gets taken out as well. So up to Lucio Zoe to try and contest. Touch. Uh, Noxious on that Tracer is gonna get forced off, and uh. GVU are gonna take Numbani six to five. What an wow. amazing match. Yeah, very great match, well fought. This better be for Zoe. Oh, oh no, it's Echo. Echo, wow. And uh, I think this is very deserved. I'm pretty sure this is going to be that final fight. The oh, the final scenario. fight? Yeah, that was so chaotic. Yeah. He was doing, this on. window provided so much value. That was insane. He's doing heals, he's dealing damage, manages to definitely avoid that. Wow. Heal. Despite the fact that his team is falling like flies around him, he doesn't lose heart. He keeps on shooting, keeps on firing, keeps his DPS alive, who are able to just push through and find the value they need, and eventually they turn it around in what looked like a very dire scenario. Great, just a great mental strength coming through from GBU there to continue that fight in the overtime scenario. Yeah, it was an amazing fight all around. Like, after the first game, I was worried that, that we wouldn't have, like, such great games today, you know, because it was very St. Clair-sided. But what a showing from Grandview University. They played so, so well. And Definitely. The, St. Clair played well as well, but... Uh, yeah, both teams just trading blows back and forth. This is definitely... This uh, this is a match that has potential to go all the way to Game 5. We'll have to see now. St. Clair, of course, it is going to be their map pick next. We'll have to see where they want to go. We'll have to see what they plan to do in order to counter GBU. Because GBU, now that they've won that, you know that they're going to be riding high and they're going to want to keep this momentum going. The thing from St. Clair that I... Like, like you said, the D.Va pick against the Sigma, I don't think was... Was correct there. Like, yeah, it, it might was a hard just, counter. So many times, just getting hit with that rock. They were definitely trying to outthink GBU there. I think they were really predicting that Winston because GBU they did run the Winston a few times, right? But unfortunately, it was just a bit of a misidentification, and it kind of led to them getting capped much faster than they would have liked. Like you know that they were hoping to hold on to that first point a lot longer because that's that's one of the easiest points to defend, right? When you have those back high grounds, that back corner you can sit on, you definitely want to make sure you make the most of those opportunities and unfortunately just didn't go the way that they were hoping. Yeah. I wonder what's what's the next map did you say? Don't believe we know next map yet, but it should be a flashpoint, and it looks like we do have confirmation it's going to be Suravasa. So this is a chance uh, for St. Clair to kind of go back to what we saw them see success on on the first map with those Lucio picks. The uh, Emran going could go back to that Symmetra. You know, uh, flashpoint is a game type where mobility is super important, and not just like mobility in the dive sense, where it's all about like being able to quickly get between high grounds, drop between low ground and high ground. Like, just straight up, how fast can you get from point A to point B in a vertical manner? <laughs> it's all about your miles per hour. And with the Lucio, with that Symmetra, that is definitely something that St. Clair can utilize to make sure that they're going to be, you know, able to hold an advantage here. Yeah. I think we're going to be going into the next game right away here, right? We're going to go for a quick break, actually. <laughs> get back right here in the game after a quick break. Thank you very much. Looking for round three.
All right, welcome back everybody. We are going into our third map here. The score is one to one so far, and we're gonna be jumping right into game. It sounds like the players have already started playing by the sounds of it. I hear lots of stuff happening out on the field. It is of course gonna be Flashpoint, Suravasa. Um, I hear Symmetra. And I think I see, I think I hear Reinhardt. Yeah, that's Reinhardt swinging for sure. Uh, so by the sounds of it, looks like we are in the Brawl combo like we thought. Yeah, Squeak there on that Reinhardt, Noxious and Emren with that Bastion and the Symmetra. And Noxious right away as we get in, we see him find an opening pick onto the Junker Queen of Finger Paint. Finger Paint has definitely seemed to favor this Junker Queen so far. But so far, it seems like it hasn't found much success other than that one overtime fight on Bonnie, of course. Now, first cap has come through here for Saints. They're going to be trying to follow up, make sure that JVU can't get out successfully. But they do have a lot of mobility. Even so during the Genji, they all have these escape abilities that make them so hard to kind of track down. Now, Finger Paint, there is going to be getting back here. Oh, but Emran with a nice pick onto Echo. You can see those orbs so deadly as they're being spammed out from the point. Now the TP is going to enable Squeak to go right into the midst of things. Noxious gets taken down super low, but Razor is right there to keep him up, make sure he stays up. Squeak also follows up. Oh, but what? Razor, he, unfortunately, he thought he could find those picks, but what? He had other ideas as he takes him out from afar. Losing the Baptiste here is going to be very, very bad for Saints, as that's the absolute brunt of their healing. They're going to only have the Lucio here if GVU decides to take a quick fight. Yeah, what dominance from St. Clair already on the board here. But just like that, Grandview oh. managing to overturn it. Yeah, Zoe with a quick reflection into Noxious, takes him out with his own grenade. That's going to hurt. But St. Clair, they do have 86% on the board. They only need one fight in order to take this point home for them. Yeah, I think they can do it, I believe. They have a lot of ults in the bag here that they can use. They've been saving them up for an occasion just like this. We got the Symmetra wall. And lots of walls. There we are. Yep, There's the amplification wall. matrix comes out from Razor. Is going to be overlooking the point, but Squeak decides to go the other way. As he chases GPU down onto that low ground. Now, ooh, the ult comes in from Finger Paint. Is going to take Squeak super low, and the follow-up is there. Echo takes out Squeak. Noxious, though, is able to take out Finger Paint himself, and Noxious finds second. Canary goes down. What is using the overclock, but that sim wall is so perfectly wow. placed that you just can't find damage through it, and Noxious finds yet another one. A great job here from St. Clair to make the most of their ultimates and find all the picks they needed. GVU probably not going to be able to touch here. With only, yeah, they're, they're just going to give this up, start heading to the next point. A strong opening start from St. Clair, only giving up a little bit of percent there on that point. It actually looks like GVU might want to catch him on this rotation. Yeah, they do have Dragon Blade ready. I think they're going to go for a little bit of a pinch and flank here. Get on the backside here. Yeah, Red X did use that sound barrier, so the Dragon Blade has potential to find huge value here. You know, without that defensive ult online, All it's... this map, there's a Bastion. Oh, there All it is. Dragon, Dragon Blade. Blade comes through, oh, finds, finds Red X, see if he can find a second. Oh, the, the mortality oh. field is comes in at the nick of time and is going to keep them up. But Canary is going to be using that sound barrier. Keeps all of GBU topped up and healthy as they wow. push forward. Dash resets for days for Zoe as he goes in farther and farther. Amazing Beautiful Zoe. picks coming out from GBU. You could yeah, you could see them identify that once that sound barrier went down, once that immortality field came out, it was just pedals of the metal. And they just rushed forward with that Lucio, rushed forward with the Junker Queen shout, and they found all the picks they needed to. They saw their chance and they took it. Now St. Clair needs to regroup and find some way to push on a point, but with these points moving so quickly, I don't know how much time they have. 40 points on the scoreboard for Grandview. Both teams getting into a, gearing up for a big team fight here. Oh, Squeak goes for a charge in. Isn't quite going to find anything. Looks like he did force the teleport from Echo. Now we see Finger Paint he is going to be trying to hold this choke point. Teleporter comes out. Immediately puts St. Clair onto wall. the opposite side of the point. Oh, big oh but though. Zoe is able to come in with the dash. Finds Emerin. Noxious trades with the paint, with a pick on Finger Paint. That window there is still doing huge damage. Zoe with another pick. They've been doing such a great job. Make that a third for oh, Zoe. So close. What is getting chased down? Zoe with a fourth ball. Oh, we'll see if they can get the 5k. No, no, no Red X doesn't want to give up. Yeah, Red X doesn't want to give him that honor and just skates out of there. That was a huge fight there from Grandview because they didn't even need to use an ult. That was all just neutral damage coming in from them. And St. Clair, they're not even going to be able to touch. GBU took that almost as dominantly as St. Clair took that first point. Yeah, what a showing from Grandview there. That was just so clean. And now I'm curious to see how this 
next point will go very back and forth. So it seems to be whoever gets the point first tends to keep it near the end. There's very few times where it flip turns. Yeah, his defensive position is obviously a huge advantage. And right away, he tries to catch him out on the rotation using that Kitsune rush. They try to rush in, but Radix is right there oh, with the sound barrier ult. to keep him out. Oh, Emran is able to take out Zoe. Oh, but the finger paint ult is going to take out Noxious, doing huge damage with that carnage. And now, you are still going to be trying to push this, but St. Clair, they have the sim wall. That's going to enable them to sit on point, able to put down a ton of spam damage. GBU is forced back. Razor with a nice pick onto Canary as he's trying to get out. Probably very aggressive here. Just leaving the point entirely just to chase. Yeah, St. Clair, <laughs> they know they have that point, so now it's all about how long can they extend this, how much can they exert their control over the territory that they have access to right now. It's noxious. Behind the shield, both teams playing very safe, but just as I say that, Granby is going for a big push here. Here it is, Beat comes, or sorry, Blade comes oh, out from Zoe, but a nice teleport shatter. shatter is going to put what on the ground. Zoe comes in, tries to find follow up with that Blade, and Finger Pain actually is able to follow that up with two picks of his own. Noxious and Razor both going down. Now Squeak is on the point. Looks like he's just trying to stall as long as possible, though. He knows that the fight has been lost, and he's just trying to get Good what's valid he can. Redix with an exit pick onto Echo could be huge. Good 65% from St. Clair, but now. Gonna have oh, to try. Emerin dies yeah. super late. That's very unfortunate for St. Clair. You could see him trying to get out, but fortunately not quite fast enough. St. Clair does have Bastion and does have the bat wall, so we could see some good plays from Bastion here. And what does have overclock ready on Grandview's side. So this next fight should be pretty interesting. Yeah, for sure. Needs to get on the site fast. I'm sure Razor is going to want to open this fight with the Implication Matrix. We actually see Noxious use the Bastion all first, seeing if they can maybe force out Suzu. Now the Implication Matrix comes out as what uses the overclock of his own. Ult's coming up from both sides here, but shots coming through the Implication Matrix are going to keep everyone forced back. Echo is able to take down Squeak, but Emran trades for one of his own as he finds Zoe. Both sides down a member here, but St. Clair missing that Reinhardt is definitely going to make it harder for them to take space as Finger Paint goes in, finds a pick. Seeing if he can get a third, looks for the knife, isn't quite able to find it, but what more than makes up for it with that headshot onto Razor. 90% now, St. Clair with very few members left. They might not be able to touch here, and yeah, Emery's just gonna reset, and they're gonna focus their efforts on the next point. Yeah, two to one, Grandview in the lead here, and I think they have alt advantage too as well, aside from the overclock. Yeah, they'll have the Kitsune Rush, they'll have the B, and they have the Carnage. But Squeak is actually going to try and match the Junker Queen. He's realized that the Reinhardt isn't quite working out, that uh, Grandview is just a little bit too mobile for him to be able to find those picks. So he's going to be trying to go to the Junker Queen and just Simul. deal a ton Kitsune of Rush. Yeah, the Simul comes out from Emran, lays him across the point, and the Kitsune Rush, it's very hard to follow up on when you have that Simul. So Grandview, they're just going to kind of play distance, wait out the sim wall, and then maybe look for a re-engage here. Coming out. Oh, going oh, in from Big Grandview rush there waiting. comes out. Canary uses the sound barrier, but Redix oh, wants one of his own. Into the, the carnage wall, comes out from finger paint. Plus AT onto a lot of people, but B is going to keep him alive and healthy. But what is not going to care about that is he finds two picks. Emran trades at the very last moment, but it's far too late. The damage has been done as GBU picks up this point as well. And they're even staggering wow. Razor. Wow, Granbu, after that second game, it seems like they just like come online. Like they, they're just they're like so well, such good teamwork, just getting the right plays at the right time. Absolutely, and you can tell with the, the way that St. Clair is swapping there. St. Clair isn't comfortable with this. Like they're trying to figure out how they can, you know, how they can put a stop to Granbu's shenanigans. They're looking for a weakness in the game plan, but it's hard to find one. Yeah. There's a Kitsune rush on the point. They need to take it here or else, I think, this is the last push they can do. The time that they have left. Yeah. Oh, Squeak with a beautiful opening pick. Finds a knife onto Canary. That's a big source of healing and mobility down for the side of Grandview. Big Paint finds a his own. Overclock. What? what? Goes super low but pops the overclock. Yeah, that's not going to be a great idea. <laughs> Reddix is right there to shut that down. He wants none of it. Finger Paint staying alive. Does find picks. Finds two. another. Echo, though, goes off the map. <laughs> it's just Finger Paint and Canary alive here. St. Clair shouldn't have much trouble cleaning this up. But as I say that, Ooh. Finger Paint finds yet another pick. This Junker Queen oh, is doing no, so axe. much work. He has stayed alive and killed both the entirety of St. Clair. This might be the map, unless we can punch it. can't. Finger Paint with an absolutely lights out performance, staying alive against all odds, finding picks throughout it all, puts the team on his back and 
closes out that map for GVU. Yeah, what a game for GVU. Finger paint, that last little bit was insane. Many points throughout the game match were insane. But look at that axe. I remember that ult. Okay, one, two. Just playing so well for his team, They're getting them all so low. Wow. Well played from GVU. Yeah, St. Clair, they, uh, they, for the first time, I think, in uh, Activision Blizzard Collegiate, they are actually down a map. And as this moves to match point, they are going to need to really kind of, you know, figure out where their issue lies and how they're going to be able to counter these comps coming out from the side of GVU. The Junker Queen is definitely seems to be working out well for them at this point. Like, the first couple maps weren't really Junker Queen favorite maps, but they're on Suravasa where mobility is so, so important. They absolutely made the most of it. And St. Clair, they just didn't seem to have an answer. Yeah, that was an amazing game. The Junker Queen able to just weave through, t pick them all out. And th just the Junker Queen able, the mobility, you know, being able to move from point to point is amazing. But we'll be right back after this quick break for game four. Welcome back, everybody. Activision Blizzard Collegiate Overwatch, St. Clair College versus Grandview University. Game four here about to start. It is push on the map. Uh, this is Esperanza, the latest push map added. Very, a very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's a map that's very similar <laughs> to the ones that we've already seen. It's, I, I would compare a bit to Numbani, right? Mm -hmm. Lots of open space, lots of long sight lines. Lots of sunlight. Yeah, exactly. Stuff that worked on Numbani could work here. But it does have a bit of an interesting quirk in that there's lots of stairways that allow you to get to the high ground. As compared to somewhere like Numbani, which require very long rotations, uh, this place has, it's much easier to just quickly go and access all those bridges, all those back halls, and it can definitely be conducive to the Lucio comps that both teams have tried to run. Both teams are running an exact mirror right now. St. Clair, they realize that GBU's comp is good, so they're just gonna try and run it, but run it better. I think they might be able to do it here, get the parroting of the comp here. Ooh. Big knife out of the gate by GPU though. Yeah, but it on the as that happens, too. Razor with a kunai is going to pick off Zoe. And that Genji going down early, that's a large source of damage removed from the fight. And St. Clair, they're immediately going to push that advantage. Echo goes super low, they're going to be looking for that pick, but just does manage to escape. So you can see St. Clair, they're trying to take over this high ground. It's not just a setup there, using that Sojourn to be able to put down the railgun shots and just keep them at bay for as long as possible. Zoe now, back in the fight, is going to be their chance to try and contest this high ground. Now the card being contested, Dash comes in from Zoe, but no pick coming through. See, Canary is there trying to follow up with that. Suzu comes in, but Razor with another pick. Razor's doing a great job in this Kiriko so far. As Razor finds wow. a third, Zoe is going to be able to trade with pick on the squeak. But yeah, unfortunately, yep. that's Zoe too many members out. of your team gone. And St. Clair, they are going to be able to keep this bot moving. Razor has opened up both fights now with the Kunai just from out of left field. You can see that, you know, that experience as a DPS player is really coming through here for him. Yeah, St. Clair. Playing very, very well, very hungry to bring this to a game five scenario. Yeah, just like that, Emery gets pushed up. Playing very well, gets out very clean, gets a little bit of damage. Just 
like that. Sinclair about to hit the first checkpoint. Then yeah, back up. FedEx gets taken very low, but is able to sustain and stay alive. We have, looks like both supports almost have both ults here. And we do see Razor is the first one to pop that as he uses Dakatsune Rush. McNary responds with a sound barrier. Redex is going to have a sound barrier of his own, but he opts not to pop it. He thinks St. Clair can sustain through it. Emeryn goes in, seeing if he can find a pick. But Buzz force out that teleportation there from the Togo. And Push Sweet there. runs down finger paint. A great pick coming in from him. Ooh, and Emeryn is right there to pressure the Sojourn. Noxious pops the overclock. And picks coming through. It's all green in the kill feed as St. Clair lights up Grandview. Beautiful ult usage. Just going to shut them down. And just like that, they get the first checkpoint uncontested. There it is. Looks like St. Clair. Absolutely. Another game on there. And what's interesting here is right now we're seeing a bit of a reverse of what happened on Suravasa, where Granby was waiting to use the Genji Blade until the beats came out. Now Emren has beat, and he Canary doesn't have there. beat. And Emren, as I say that, he's actually going to find his counterpart, takes out the Genji, and still has that blade. So without a defensive ultimate here for Grandview, this next fight could be... It's going to be very hard for them unless they can find early picks using the ult of their own. Exactly. They do have Sound Barrier ready, too. There's a Katsune Rush from Grandview. Be the to push forward. But Reddix responds with the beat, and yep, there's, and there's the blade the coming blade. in from Emrin. Emrin seeing if he can find one. He's going to force that TP out. Ooh, the TP. Oh, oh, but Noxious two. is right there to follow up. You know, Emrin was just the distraction while well, Noxious cleans up. <laughs> but Emrin doesn't want to do no distracting as he finds the right click headshot there and immediately deletes finger paint. Sends him right back to the spawner. And Noxious with a pick onto Canary as well. That was a great fight from Noxious there. Everyone was so busy looking at Emrin, they forgot that Noxious is there ready to take yeah. your head off. <laughs> And Noxious was ready to clean up those kills there. What has the overclock ready? Probably waiting for him to funnel into this next choke point. Yeah, and Zoe, of course, has a blade. He's been deadly with it so far. And no blade, or sorry, no beat from Red X is going to be able to defend it. Looks like they're trying to take out Zoe first, but the support heal's keeping them up Here it is. and alive. Oh, Look at that, going to go down. For Lucio 1v1, but what pops the overclock and is able to take out Emrin, finds Red X as well. Two picks coming out from what are going to turn this into GBU's favor as they start moving the bot back toward the wall. They've been at zero meters this whole time, yeah. so St. Clair has been doing a great job, but at long last, GBU is going to put some points on the board. And in fact, they might even be able to turn this around. Oh, but oh, Zoe, he's right no. there. He wants to keep the momentum up. Finds one, make that second, but Noxious shuts that down real quick. Some good picks, but unfortunately not going to be quite as much as Zoe would have wanted. Being taken out there does mean that St. Clair can try and come back and stop the bot from, stop the bot from moving before it gets too far. That finger paint being pushed off the bot and pushed into the corner here. But having to play back with the team, people will get up in their face if they want to be. 1v1 with the tanks here. Ooh, sweet. Hits the knife, pulls finger paint straight in, and does force the Suzu from Razor. Razor right there to follow up quick with the Tune Rush. As that goes up onto the high ground. Kind of forces back into the corner. And Noxious is there to pop the, the overclock with it. Seeing if he can find any picks. Does force out the beat from Canary as Canary's just trying to keep his team alive. Tries to skid around all of that high ground. Gets taken so low, but escapes with just a sliver of HP. Oh. And now Finger Paint is going to try and trade this out as he uses that carnage. This, or the Suzu did come through, cleanse a few people. He's weak, so got hit by that, but Noxious right there to take out Zoe, who dived in looking for the pick. Finger Paint stuck in a corner. He's still going to find a pick, but Emran puts him down quickly. What though is still alive? He's still looking for damage. Sweet goes down. Both teams still running even here, but Red X, he doesn't sound want barrier. this to be this close. He uses the sound barrier, tries to force you back. Ooh. Echo gets taken out. Red X and Emran both combine to take out the supports. Great job from them, and St. Clair are going to retake this bot. Yep, the bot has to make a long run back to that objective. And Saint great play by St. Clair, great reversal. And Grandview did give up a pretty good fight, but not able to take it as far here. They got a lot of alts on the board that can have an amazing ability here. Absolutely. Now Squeak is going to have the Carnage on his own. We see if he can lay that down. Just has to watch for that Suzu to come out. Make sure it doesn't get cleansed. But speaking of Suzu, Echo has the Katsune Rush. We'll see when they decide to use it. Both teams here are going to be looking for that green light to just go in. And it's going to be Emrin who pops the blade first, takes out what before the Katsune Rush can even come out. He's going to be looking for the Kiriko now. And he, the rest of the things <laughs> are able to just follow up on the space he created. Canary and Zoe, though, they actually went way Ooh. to the back line. They found Noxious and Red X. Squeak is not going to be happy about that, though. And yeah, Razor is going to put down Canary as well. It was a nice attempt there from GBU to kind of just focus on those split angles. But St. Clair, they quickly even up the score. Yeah, great job evening up the 
the score. They got a little bit of a push here. Gonna play safe, play back. Try and play a chunk point here. It's grand view. Oh, there's a Kitsune rush. Yeah, Saints are actually going for a very quick retaliation here as Razor comes right back into the fight, uses that Kitsune rush. It's gonna pay off Vegas. Razor finds a pick onto Zoe. Emran is gonna find what as well. And now we can see Finger Paint. He's stuck there, wow. can't get out. Saints just push forward. Gravity was not ready for that level of aggression at all. Yeah, and they already have Junker Queen ult on the board again. So, I don't know. It's not looking great for Grandview. They need to make a push here because it's getting eerily close. Yeah, Grandview do have the beat online, which can allow them to sustain on point and get some stall here. Maybe. Oh, Echo gets taken so low. He's 1 HP. Not quite going to be finished off, though. We'll see if that comes back to bite the Saints later. And now the beat comes out from Canary. That's going to be all the sustain they need. Squeak uses the Carnage. Puts down. Hits a couple people. It's going to be Dying enough. Blade. Canary gets so low. These supports just aren't dying. Doing a great job surviving. Ooh. And Zoe with the Blade is going to be able to pick off Red X. See if he can get a second one. Not quite. Razor survives as well. These supports are doing such a great job of just maximizing their survivability, letting themselves live in dire situations. But it's not going to be enough as Zoe takes out Emran. Both teams still fighting over the bot. Neither one wants to give up. Saints seem to still think this is winnable as they're not resetting. But what? And Canary are going to take out the bot stallers. And, and unfortunately, Emran is probably not going to survive here either. He gets taken out. Yeah. Yep. A very nice final stand there from GBU as they're going to be able to still keep themselves alive. Yeah, they have a lot of ults on the board here too. That was a great play. Like, I don't know. GBU. I know they're losing right now, and Sinclair playing very, very well, but they're able to turn it around very easily. Absolutely. And, you know, despite the fact that Push is, of course, like, known as a bit of a snowballing map, it's not over till it's over, right? Like, we've seen some insane overtime pushes. GBU has a chance to do that for themselves, and they're going to be looking to start that with the Kitsune Rush from Echo. Not going to find any picks quite yet, but it does get them the high ground control they've been looking for. Now, the Kitsune Rush from Razor is wow. going to come out to try and match, but Carnage from Finger Paint is going to be taken Lost low, but Renix has been beat. <laughs> He's keeping all his team healthy. They're still able to fight. They're still able to find the picks. And Saints, wow. without even losing a single member, are going to be able to once again start pushing the bot forward. What an amazing play by Saint Clair. That was, that was, that was great. Yeah. Just keeping everybody up. Great support play. That's what you'd love to see. I think they want to get it all the way to the end here. They don't want to win by, by time. They want to win by getting it to the end. Well, with 40 seconds left on the clock, it is going to be doable, but they're going to need to really just go non-stop. As they have both DPS ults online and Squeak getting close to his ultimate as well. Grandview, only the beat, which is going to be valuable to shut down Emran. We'll see if it can give them the offensive pressure they need. They need to start finding picks and start moving the bot back in the other direction. Yeah, they need to go for a big play here to push everybody off. There it is. Ultimate comes out from Squeak. He is going to find three. Does force out the beat from Canary. That beat getting forced is huge. Because now Emran is going to pull the blade. He knows there's nothing to stop him. Looks for one. Nox is going to steal that from him. Emran finds the pick of his own and finds a wow. second there. Beautiful Amazing play. Ultimate. Wow. Yes. That was a great ultimate usage. And that brings us to game five, two to two. Yeah. St. Clair wow. did a great job of forcing that beat early using Squeak's ultimate there. Playing it down onto yep. so many people, <laughs> it just meant that you had to beat or you had to die. And once that beat came out early, then it meant that Emran was just free to pull that blade. He knew he had nothing to stop him. Same with Noctis as well with the overclock. That damage was just far too much for GBU to be able to handle without a defensive ult, and it was just clean up from there. A great job from Saints being able to come back when it did look a bit dire after Suravasa, right? Like, yeah. that map, it did look to be very much in favor of GBU, but Saints, you know, they're never to be outdone. They're showing that they have a mental just as strong. They come back, and they have an absolutely dominant performance there on Esperanza. Like you said, nearly closing out the yeah. map. A little bit more time <laughs> left on the clock, and I'm sure they would have gotten it to that very final challenge. Point. I think they wanted that, but maybe they'll do that on the next map. Yeah. So uh, it All should right. be a great game. I'm really excited. Yeah, so our next map is going to be Circuit Royale. We'll have to see how that plays out. For now, we're going to throw it to a quick break, but this match is going all the way, so make sure you come back. You don't want to miss this. Game five, coming soon.
Welcome back, everybody. St. Clair College versus Grandview University. Game five here in the Activision Blizzard Collegiate Overwatch. It's been back and forth here. Could be anyone's game. It's going to be a good one here, folks. Lock in. Get your snacks ready. Get your drinks ready. We're going to be here for a while. Yeah. Circuit Royale is a very famously a Sigma double sniper map. And St. Clair, they're going to be looking to play into that, whereas Grandview, Zoe has seen a ton of success on the Genji. And they're going to be looking to just lead into that. And they're going to have what on the Widow. So we actually have pretty much every sniper being represented right in the game right now. Yep. We have the Hanzo, we have the Sojourn with the Railgun, and of course, we have the Widowmaker. And no yeah, no, we don't have Ana, that's true. But we do have the Yari Bear coming out from Grandview. So it definitely seems like they really want to focus on uh, Zoe on the Junkrat. That can't be. Perhaps. Maybe to start off the match. Okay, Zoe with... Oh, oh no, never mind. We got baited. Back to the Genji. Okay. We got the Zenyatta from Razor here. First we're seeing it here. Played. Yeah, the Canary is actually going to swap to the Brig as well. So it seems like Grandview, they, they saw what St. Clair was running and decided to go for a quick swap. Something that's going to favor them a little bit more. And now we see the Sigma matchup coming up from Finger Paint and Squeak. Oh, Zoe with a wow. early pick on the Noxious. I don't even know how that happened. I think he was gearing up over that wall. I, that must have up. been, yeah. He must have gone over the wall and just found Noxious caught completely off guard. That's going to be very difficult for St. Clair. Is now losing that is a huge source of damage gone. You're going to have to back up, maybe even give up this corner. You can see Squeak is trying to maintain this as much as he can. But Grammy, they're just going to try and swarm around, play all around that coast, control the health pack, swing around, and just keep momentum going from there. Yeah, they are being overwhelming in their offense. You're almost already up at the checkpoint here. Yeah, Getting those early picks seem to snowball their advantage here. Zoe, such aggression is going to force the lamp out there from Red X. And what? Picks off Red X right after Zoe takes out Squeak. This Genji is not something that we typically see here on Wow. Sunday, but it's doing a great job. It's closing the distance so fast that St. Clair, they're just not really ready for it. I don't think they've played against many Genjis here that are on this level. It's very, very good gameplay from Zoe. Yeah, St. Clair, they've actually decided to just completely change the comp. Oh, sweet. He might go. actually be stuck here. He does uh -oh. have the shield spin, or the spear spin, and fortify. Gonna try and get out. A nice May wall is gonna oh. trap the Baptiste, does force the so. lamp. Oh, but you can see Finger Paint has the ult, and Zoe's right there, ready oh. to follow up. Oh, no. Three picks coming out from GBU. As this cart has not yet been stopped, he just keeps going a beautiful midair yeah. right click dash oh, wow. combo from Zoe. This guy is putting on a Genji clinic right now, and he did ten all player. that without even popping the blade. Yeah, he's on a 10 player kill streak just out the gate. I don't think he's died. Yeah, he hasn't died yet. It's been that early into the game. We got the overclock ready. St. Clair now has a couple ults to use to try oh, to turn around. There it is. There it That's is. an opening pick that St. Clair needed. That's what they've been running this Sojourn for. That pick with the railgun is going to take down the Baptiste and give them the space they need to just push out here and start forcing GBU back. Yeah, I think they can finally make a good push here, put up a good fight at this choke point. Getting him off the payload was a much needed. You can see play. what set up far back on the high ground there. See, super shots. James gonna be popping oh. the ult. Oh, but he gets pushed by Emran. Emran doing a great job marking him. Takes him out quick. But Zoe is gonna try and find picks of his own. He goes in, so takes out Razor, pops the blade, seeing if he can find second. Just He's gonna get taken out by Canary. Forces the Saints back. Wow. Emran though, sitting behind with that overclock, took out wow. two. Wow. Make that a third. Emran in a do or die scenario finds the picks to keep St. Clair alive here. Yeah, what a play by Emerin holding up the back line, using that overclock to just pick out the people who are low out of that that squeak all there. That was that was amazing. Yeah, and that's going to be so valuable because Grandview, they used both the blade and the rally there, and neither of them were able to just cut through the sheer damage that Emerin was doing. You know, a jump shot coming out from what? Not quite going to find the damage. And the next fight, Razor is going to have the Transcendence. So, think clear. They're looking in a good spot right now. There it is. Transcendence comes through, counters that window. St. Clair's just going to push right past it. That window gets no value there from the side of GBU. But they're going to try and counter by immediately going for the grid event. Flux pulls up a couple people. Ooh. But is it going to be enough? So he dashes in, finds Red X, but Emery traded out. Squeak still on that front line. is going to be trying to push past. And it is going to be effective by the looks of it. Zoe is still going in, wow. though. Oh, Emran nearly takes what's head off there. You can see he's hanging on by a thread. 4 <laughs> HP. 
And Zoe, is he gonna be able to get out? He's not. Noxious back on the Ooh, Noxious on the Genji now is gonna be able to take him out. You can, you can see he wasn't really getting too much value from the Mei, and he, the Saints were still being able to hold on to point really well. So now on the Genji, he's gonna be trying to mark Nox or mark Zoe, sorry. Make sure that they're not able to just dash in for free. And yeah, Saints doing a great job of just shutting down those pushes. Now GBU only have that rally online. Yeah, GBU on the back foot here after such overwhelming initial push. Now they have to get past the Orisa switch with a great play. Yeah, here it is. Rally comes through, but Redix is ready with that window. Tries to get the heal onto Emerin. Just barely missed that shift. It's going to be okay, though, because Emerin comes in with the overclock. Once again, starting to pressure people down. GBU is doing a great job of hiding behind the corners, making sure that they're not taking too much damage. But the picks are actually coming out for them as they pick off Racer and Squeak. Now Emerin is going to be trying to get out here. Zoe gets taken oh. super low, but not quite taken out. Canary's going to take out Noxious. St. Clair may get the chance to defend one more time here, but you can see Grandview, they don't want that to happen. They're going to be pushing forward and just keeping up the aggression. Tell Silly's itching for that Dragon Blade. They're crouching behind the corner. Yeah. They're waiting. Razor the is so close to Transcendence, too. He's at 99. He's going to need to get it here. There he is. Okay, he does have it. it. He gets taken, oh, he gets out. taken out. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a huge mistake there from St. Clair. You can know, you can tell they wanted that to contest this point here. But without that, they only have an Immortality Field and the Baptiste to keep them up. Now Squeak is going to be trying to push them back using that spin. But it's not going to be enough as Finger Paint uses the Grunovic Plus. Just lifts everyone up off the cart. So unfortunate from St. Clair. Oh. Losing that Zenyatta through such a wrench in their plans. Yeah, that was unfortunate indeed. They needed that Zenyatta ult to keep them all healthy to contest that point. Bab did a good job at delaying the inevitable there, but wasn't enough to help them prevent that push. Already, they're pushing very aggressively here. Yeah. Noxious is going to have Blade here, and again, like we talked about, lack of defensive ultimate means it's a big opportunity to be able to get the Blade. They don't even have the uh, the Grifidic Flux, which can sometimes be used to counteract Blade. So we'll have to see if Sinclair wants to just pop this in and just be aggressive, or if they want to open up maybe with the Transcendence, which they were able to hold on to. But what's more than likely going to happen is they're going to try and hold that Transcendence for Zoe's Blade, who has that online. Oh, there is. oh, wait, there it is. Yeah, Transcendence is. is getting popped, and it wasn't even saved for an ultimate. But Emery's going to pop a blade of his own. And oh, Zoe's going to pop. We have oh, both blades coming out. out. And yeah, the stun coming out from Pure Paint. The rock is just too effective. Zoe is going to get the wow. far better end of this Genji matchup today. Team kill. This is not where you want to have a team kill happen. Already so close to the final point here. Grandview looking to close out this game four with another win. And if that, that happens. Yeah, oh, Razor's gonna be good. swapping over to the Brig now. But Canary almost has the rally. Echo is very close to that amplification matrix. But Redix is gonna pop an amplification matrix of his own. Now we see. Oh, Emerin is actually gonna take out what? Who used the overclock? That's a Sojourn diff right there. It's gonna be a great opening pick, and the immortality field comes out. Great job there from Redix and Emerin to just shut down this fight. Zoe is still alive though. He does not want this fight to end. Razor is gonna take out Canary. And yeah, despite the fact that GBU hasn't been completely wiped out, it does look like it's gonna be in vain. They're just kind of staggering themselves here as they are going to finally, Saints finally put their foot down here on this third point. Yeah, they are trying their darndest to try and delay this cap, but even so, St. Clair has to work it out for them here. Yeah. Emrin does have that overclock. He's been a hero for Saints before. We'll have to see if he can do it again. Echo with Transcendence, and Canary's actually swapped over to the Vectors as well. Ooh, a Terra Surge coming out from Squeak. It's going to pull everyone up close, and Razor's right there to follow up. Noxious takes out the field, and Emrin with the overclock is going to take out Echo. Canary goes down as well. Oh, the there support's they go. just popping off right now. Great stuff from Red X and Razor. And yeah, a team kill is finally going to put a stop to GPU's pushes as it ends just short of that third checkpoint. Yeah, still, now St. Clair needs to pretty much cap the payload all the way here. It's not looking great, but maybe they can do it. If their offense here today is great, we might have another overtime game on our hands here. Absolutely. You can see Zay, the coach there behind them, just making sure that they're staying, they're keeping their minds in the game, staying calm, staying focused. This is the time when you just really want to put all, all your thoughts into what you need to do. You don't want to let any nerves get to you. Don't let the fact that you're on stage get to you. Yeah. <laughs> it's just you in the game right now. You are the heroes. You are Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta heed the call. You have to push this payload exactly. to save the world like yep. the heroes you are. <laughs>
And here we are, very similar team comps even on the offense here. Yeah, it took St. Clair a bit to find a comp that worked for them, but it seemed like Noxious on that Genji, Squeak on that Arisa, it did seem to kind of favor them. And they're going to be doing the uh, Baptiste break comp, which is actually interesting. I didn't even realize that until I see it just now, but it was actually Red X on the Baptiste and Razor was on the break, which is of course the opposite of what we normally see. But now they're back in their old stomping grounds, they're wearing their normal shoes, and they're going to. This, this should lead to even more success than we saw. The double defense. sniper on Grandview, Hanzo and Widowmaker. Yeah, Zoe is finally swapped off that Genji, so maybe St. Clair can have a break from that insane aggression that we saw coming forward. Ooh, what with a nice little shot there, but wasn't quite charged up enough, or maybe just was slightly too far to find that pick. Squeak already pushing this corner, forcing them back, just kind of making sure that they can't be firing down this long angle. Between. Well, getting a good push initially, but not getting the opening pick like Grandview did. But they are able to make a very good, consistent push here. Yeah, oh, Emery with that nice paint. push there onto that high ground is going to be forcing Finger Paint back, and that's going to be great for St. Clair as they can now control this bridge, set up their healers or whatever they need to. Squeak pushes forward with that with that spear spin. The Discord is going to make it a little uncomfortable for him. Oh, oh no. what with a nice shot is going to take out Red X. But Noxious is going to find one of his own. The Immortality Field goes down. You can see both the DPS there for oh, you no. staying back. And what is going to pick out Razor? Both reports going down to the oh, hand of the Sniper. No. What finds a third as Noxious goes down? Great job from the Widowmaker here to just make sure that Saints aren't able to get away with those pushes. Yeah, this is not looking good for St. Clair. Grandview was able to take, get the checkpoint and pretty much push it up to the second checkpoint in record time. So being delayed here is not what you want. Yeah, and Saints, they're actually going to try and swap it up as Red X moves over to Lucio. So it looks like they just want to enable their... Oh! A pick onto Emran. What finds two right off the bat as soon as they round that corner. They just get filled with lead from the Widowmaker. Great shots coming out there, and this fight is over before it even began. Yeah, just like that, the second push already delayed. It's looking really good for Grandview. Not looking good for the Saints here. Yeah, Saints already down to half the time they started with, and not a single ult's come along yet. Razor is close, but you can see Grandview is just a little bit more comfortable in that ult economy. Now what goes for a shot? Oh, but this time it's gonna be Zoe who finds the headshot. The double sniper proving more than effective as Finger Paint with all four members of a team assisting him is gonna take out Squeak. And what just pushes forward onto that high ground. He's pushing with no fear. Emran goes down and Noxious follows shortly after. Echo. Cleaning up the kills, though. Yeah, and that was only off the back of that Baptiste window. They didn't need the dragons. They didn't need the critical <laughs> clucks. It's just what and Zoe finding shots. Yeah, They're playing amazingly, just funneling them into this sniper yeah. lane and just picking them off one by one. And this situation has gotten even more dangerous for Sinclair. As even though they have that, they're going to have that blade here. Canary was able to build the trance before the blade, which means it's going to be very hard to get value from blade unless you can force out trance early. Now, Squeak does have the opportunity to do that if he can find a good search. Terra Surge here. But it's going to need to get a lot closer. Get again. Goes in. Trance comes Using out it. from Canary. Blade comes out from Noxious as well, though. And unfortunately, Trance, both yeah. ults counter for the Transcendence. Noxious got nothing from that. Emran. Oh, a oh. nice pick from Emran. Takes out the Baptiste. And Noxious follows up with a pick on Canary. Emran pops the overclock. And this is the hero play wow. we were talking about. Emran always shows up when it comes down to it. That overclock is just such a deadly weapon in his hands. Right when Saints need it, he yeah. manages to take out Grandview, and they are going to secure themselves the first point. Yeah, St. Clair found the opening thread there, made full use of it, and now has gotten a very good push onto Grandview here, carrying that payload hopefully up very close to the second checkpoint here. But Grandview, as I say that, they get a very good push out of spawn. Yeah, and Red X is going to be close to his beat here as well. Grandview with nothing coming up online, Saints are actually in a really good spot here. There's nothing online for Grandview. It's just going to be all in the neutral fights. And now that they're both running this uh, Sojourn Genji, it's really just going to come down to who can who can land your shots, who can just mechanically be better. Oh, but Canary, with a pick from the back line, is going to take out Noxious. But Red X and Razor, this deadly support duo, go in deep using that sound barrier. They find picks of their own. They trade out that back line, and Squeak is right there to help them out as he takes out Zoe. What gets taken very low, but is going to be able to escape with his life. But still, that's going to be a huge, huge fight for St. Clair as they're going to be pushing this right up 
to the second checkpoint. Grandview, they might have one more chance to touch, but they'll need to be very quick. And Squeak is right there with that spin, with that fortify. He does not want to let this happen. There it is. Very, very well. Spin comes in, looks for an isolation. Wall. Quite able to find it quite yet. Now what? Pushes forward, throws down, that disruptor shot, and the immortality field is coming out early, and Razor finds a pick of his own. Noxious takes out Zoe. Two down for the side of Grandview already, as Razor finds yet another one. Razor doing such a great second job checkpoint. with Baptiste, and yeah, second checkpoint going much better than the first one did. And despite, they could win it here. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. You know, GBU, they had a really fast first checkpoint and then slowed down on the second checkpoint. Whereas St. Clair, they slowed down on the first checkpoint, but then rolled straight through the second checkpoint, which actually ends with almost the same scenario here, going into the very final checkpoint. Yeah, if St. Clair can cap it here, that's an app for them, right? Yeah. Now, GPU, they do have both EPS ult. They have to get that flux. And Canary has actually swapped over to the Iliari. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. St. Clair, they do have a bit of an ult advantage right now. Squeak has his Terra Surge, and Razor is going to be looking for a window for sure. I don't think they have any much to counter this Dragon Blade, though, at the moment. So if they can get in there with the Overclock and Dragon Blade, they could clean up. Very quickly. Yeah, Red X doesn't have that beat up quite yet, so if Zoe decides to just go really aggressive, it could prove disastrous. And it's actually going to be what comes in first, but Ooh. Emran is right there to shut that down. He's going to show him who's the better Sojourn on that fight. And now the Gravitic Flux is going to come in. He's not going to find anything. The Terra Surge gets pulled from Squeak. It destroys the lamp, and Doc just is right there to try and follow up. Takes down the Sigma so low, wow. and the right clicks are going to be all he needs to finish up. Oh, a beautiful dash combo is going to take out what? And St. Clair. Just like that. That is going to be St. Clair winning the match. Wow. Three to two. That was such a close game. It could have gone either way, but St. Clair just showing that, you know, that resilience, that grit there at the end, the discipline with their ults, comboing, like, Squeak used yeah, his one. Terra Surge to pull down uh, the Sigma out from out of the air, and then the blade just followed up. And of course, Emrin with the overclock, wow. hero every time. Such a great performance in them. St. Clair, <laughs> I'm sure they're breathing a sigh of relief after yeah. that. Yeah, they did give them a good run for their money, but the Saints managed to close it out there at the end by giving it their all. I just want to say, shout out to Emran for shutting down that overclock at the end. That Absolutely. could have been horrible for yeah, the team. Yeah, you, you saw what they're up there on that high ground. As soon as he popped that overclock, he immediately found the headshot. But Emran, just with the insane reaction time, immediately yeah. <laughs> looks up, identifies the target, and just picks them off. It was like, he just stayed so calm and knew exactly what he needed to do. And from there, Saints were just able to continue that and pull out the map win in what looked like a dire situation. So huge props to them. GVU, of course, they played amazing. They've definitely, I think that's, they've forced our Saints farther than anyone else has so far. So you got to give them props. Exactly. They, they came to play today, right? Like we, we talked at the very beginning of the show how GVU, they've been top contenders in the past. They want to continue that legacy. And they came out showing that they want to, they really want that. Yeah, they really did want that they played amazingly today I would, like shouts out to them i thought i th i personally thought they're gonna win after that two map lead there like it was it was looking like a, a reverse sweep you know after the first game mm -hmm. but uh amazing just an amazing match all around i hope we get more and more great games like that and hopefully we'll be seeing our next round pretty soon right after this break absolutely we'll know, saints we'll get now uh five and oh yeah so looking they're to make gonna it be six and oh <laughs> <laughs> definitely hoping to make that six and oh but you know the farther you go the harder the competition is gonna get this next match is presumably gonna be even harder than gbu was so saints they're gonna really need to buckle down make the most of this break to really have a solid plan going to this next match i'm sure it's gonna be very exciting so you don't want to miss it we're gonna throw it to a break until then but make sure you stay tuned because it is gonna be a very good fight. It's going to be sure. a good one.